Are there any benefits for running a node now? So. Uh, for sure, I, I guess you get to get familiar with the software and all the operations, know how to upgrade and then generally how to maintain a node. But other than that, uh, we don't have any incentivized right now for running a node. But obviously, you're tremendously helpful for us to, to know like your experience, help us expose any problems or issues or potential vulnerabilities of our network. So it is a great contribution to help us uh, like test the functionalities, test running the nodes uh, as a network and all that stuff. So it's been helpful to help us improve the software. Thank you all for helping us run the node. Yeah. What is the planned incentive phase of testnet? So we will have a incentivized testnet that is coming soon um, and criteria for who can participate and how will be uh, coming then as well. Uh, marketing, do you plan to introduce additional events, competitions, etc.? Yes, uh, there will be hackathons that are coming. Uh, it's advice testnet. Around that time, probably we'll have some more information. Um, we actually can start creating uh, Gitcoin as well. Uh, so look forward over the coming weeks to bounties or various things that we would love to help, uh, to have your help with uh, developing um, across a, a bunch of different domains. Um, and also, Thank you for developing the emoji pack. I, we don't always get to see everything people do. Um, but if you ping me, there is indeed a chance uh, that one of us can, can go through and add it. Uh, we, we definitely love checking into the, the memes channel and seeing everything you guys are creating. There is a, we spend a lot of time laughing at it. <laughs> yes, and we have, as you can see, our wall is less, less empty this time. Uh, we put up the logo and around it are, are a, a small sampling of the wonderful memes that you guys have been creating. So, so thank you. We definitely appreciate our community and we definitely want to make sure that uh, you know, the community gets, gets recognized for, for the amazing contributions that all of you have been making. Uh, in terms of translating uh, articles and Medium accounts, um, please feel free to, to create them, to do translations. As long as you make it uh, clear that it's not an official, you know, not, not an official Aptos account, um, we, we, we absolutely welcome um, and appreciate that kind of contribution as well. No OG Aptos testnet node operator NFT drop. I, I can neither confirm nor deny that there may or may not be something in the future. Um, it sounds cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> more information coming soon, I guess. Uh, this question. We can invite some folks to the stage. Yes, is it possible to run a node from your smartphone? Oh, actually... Theoretically, theoretically, uh, CC, it is theoretically There's, uh, some possible. There's some questions in the, the, the actual channel itself. So. Yeah. yeah, not yeah. in the thread. Okay, let me pull that up. Good question for Zakun. Yeah, I was running a response to that one. The one with BFT? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to read out? Um, I think we, I would definitely want to write a, a stronger response, uh, but we can at least answer the question. So the question was around, um, you know, using hot stuff uh, and, and the, you know, who, who kind of worked on it. So, um, yeah, that, that original paper was from like Ted and, and Dahlia uh, in, in close collaboration with this team. Uh, we've been definitely working on, on the protocol for a while and I'm making some significant improvements. To it. Uh, if you take a look at our uh, our paper uh, on the fourth iteration of that, uh, you can see that there are kind of two major things that are there. One is that we can commit blocks in two sets instead of three. And we also have an on-chain uh, leader reputation system to help improve performance for crashing leaders, which which definitely helps in these kind of um, uh, uh, Byzantine environment. You can take a look at the code, as, of, of course, as well. Um, this is our fourth generation uh, of the consensus protocol that we've deployed. Uh, tested for many years. Um, you can also take a look at, um, if you look at the blog post we have for the Aptos Vision, it talks about all the next generation research we have uh, for the next version of the consensus protocol, uh, mainly around DAG-based uh, thinking, uh, Bull Shark, Narwhal, and Tusk, and, and the other protocols that our researchers have been developing over the years. Um, we will have more information about the, the future of our consensus protocol in the white paper that will be coming up, coming soon, as we'd like to say, um, and definitely happy to answer more questions about that and give more detailed response in the thread. Cool. Uh, let's see. Open a hackathon. That is coming soon. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I think we can invite people up. I don't know if there's any questions in uh, 
Do you look at the ones in Mondays? Yes, yes. Okay. I have a node with an inbound value of zero. I have yet said uh, the contribution. Uh, inbound value is zero is fine. That just means like you are connecting to your upstream peers um, and there's no other nodes connecting to you. If you want, you can advertise your address in the node, uh, advertise full node uh, channel so that other can use your node as an upstream. They can connect you through you, but it's not required. Uh, it's optional for now. There's no incentivize uh, for people to have like a many many inbound connection. If you like to do that, and if you like to see like help others to stay uh, stay sync synchronized to the chain, uh, you're welcome to announce the node. But yeah, with the new identity change, please like make sure you generate the identity, the format of the peer IDs, um, address, and everything change to 35, 32 bytes. So make sure you have the new format before you advertising that channel. Cool. Using cool. Twitch questions, it's like. Yes. Uh, Let's invite some folks to the stage from the. <laughs> you guys look really smart. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's answer these real quick, and then we'll invite someone to yeah. the stage. Uh, why did we choose the name Aptos for the project? Aptos. Aptos. Sorry. Why did we choose the name Aptos? English is not my first language. Why did we choose Aptos? for the uh, the project yeah so that, that's a great question i think um we chose it because it um it, it represents the people in Olay, and we thought that was the mission that we were all to accomplish with respect to bringing decentralized assets to everyone across the world uh, and helping to solve you know problems of social inequality and, and things that access of that nature um, it also kind of pays homage to the fact that uh, a lot of this technology was born here in uh, the Bay Area, and aptos is a beautiful seaside town uh, just a little bit south of here with great barbecue by the way um, so th those are the main reasons. Is there a hardware spec? And is there a hardware spec for incentivized testnet? We do have a hardware spec published on the uh, tutorial for running a full node. It's in the requirements section. Um, right now, for development, I think two cores with uh, four gigabytes of memory was more than enough for you to run your full nodes. Uh, for production, well, like in the incentivized uh, testnet, we probably will need to re-evaluate. Right now, we put the recommendation as four cores and eight gigs uh, memory. We will let everybody know if we have any revised version of that as we're still doing lots of development, implementing new features, and tuning our performance uh, for the network. So yeah, we will post it on our website. Cool. Uh, technical details, uh, white paper, uh, performance, all of that is coming soon. Cool. So I think we can we can now. I think we've answered all these questions. We can go and take some uh, from the audience. You wanna? Okay. Cool. Hi, Paul sixty nine. I think you're muted, Paul. Well, while Paul figures that out, uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> the, the resolution on the screen is tiny. Yeah, we, we can get the next one. Gleb has no response. Okay. <clears throat> well, if there's anyone else that wants to talk about their own projects, the things that they're building, uh, this would also be a great time to share those, if you so desire.